For the first package, we have a cutting mat that I got for 198 pesos. Naisip ko tong bilhin kasi pag nagbubukas ako ng packages, palagi akong ingat na ingat na hindi ma-scratch yung mouse pad at yung table ko. With this one, pwede na akong mag-cut without worry and pwede pag gawing backdrop ng unboxing videos. It's actually thicker and heavier than expected and it serves its purpose very well. So this is a good buy for me. For the second package, we have the memory foam seat cushion that we bought for 1,060 pesos. Me and my wife bought these cushions for our office chairs kasi medyo uncomfortable yung nabili naming chairs. It doesn't have enough cushion both on the seat and sa sandalan. After about 10 minutes of sitting, sasakit na yung puwet mo sa pagupo. These cushions helped a lot. It's still not the most comfortable sitting experience, pero at least very tolerable na. The third package are black handles for cabinet that I bought for 215 pesos. I bought these handles para sa DIY project na floating TV rack for my condo. These are already installed and satisfied naman ako sa kinilabasan. The next package is a lightning cable extender that I bought for 154 pesos. I got these extenders just in case I need to connect a lightning cable to my phone tapos bitin yung cable na yun. Next item are cabinet steel handles that I bought for 66 pesos. Binili ko to for another DIY project which is a small cooker and microwave cabinet for the kitchen. They match the existing handles ng cupboards sa kitchen ng condo. The next item is a wireless charging station that me and my wife bought for 1,303 pesos. We bought this to lessen sana yung cable sa home office desks namin. Nagustuhan namin yung idea na nasa isang lugar na lang sana yung pag-charge ng phones namin and that it's all wireless charging. This is a 4-in-1 wireless charger that can accommodate two phones a smartwatch and an earphone at the same time. Unfortunately, I haven't experienced a full charge from this wireless charger so far. We even bought the variant that includes the 9 volts adapter to maximize the charging capacity. But it turns out it's still ineffective. The next package is a KF94 face mask that we bought for 50 pesos. We use this every time we need to go out. This is another KF94 mask, pero mas sulit to kasi 34 pesos lang, 2 packs na siya. The next one is the Mi Mi Gia Wi-Fi Repeater Pro that we bought for 349 pesos. Binili namin to to extend yung range ng signal ng internet connection namin kasi sa kwarto hindi na siya halos masagap. This repeater supports up to 32 devices connected to it. It's very easy to set up. One time setup lang to, tapos plug and play na siya. It is compatible with any other router. It transmits up to 300 Mbps of data. All in all, we are very satisfied with this purchase. Next item is the Lactoseed Baby Bath that we bought for 644 pesos. This is actually a new baby bath na gusto naming subukan for our son. And fortunately, we're very satisfied dahil mabango siya and ang tagal mawala ng amoy niya. Next item is the Indu Plus KN95 face mask which we bought for 148 pesos. 
next package has the hot chocolate pods for my wife that she bought for 1,100 pesos. Marami siya actually ganyan dito sa bahay na iba't ibang flavor. The next package are the sun-kissed pistachio milk that my wife bought for 1,059 pesos. She ordered three unsweetened and three chocolate flavor. Gusto niya daw to subukan because it has higher protein than other non-dairy milks. Unfortunately, yung isang carton ng unsweetened was damaged and hindi namin siya napansin agad, kaya napanis siya. Next is the Breeze liquid detergent that we bought for 284 pesos. This is another product na gustong subukan ni Mrs. Ginagamit lang namin to um, panlaba ng mga damit ng anak namin. Next is a multifunction repair kit that I bought for 212 pesos. I bought this repair kit for my eyeglasses. Lumuwag kasi yung screw and this has the right size to tighten it. This is actually a repair kit for laptops and cell phones na ginagamit to screw in and screw yung mga maliliit at oddly shaped na mga tornilyo. This has been in my cart for the longest time pero uh, ngayon ko lang talaga siya binili. The next one is an A4 Tech wireless mouse that my wife bought for 319 pesos. This is just a regular wireless mouse na pamalit dun sa lumang mouse ni Mrs. Kasi nasira yung gamit niyang mouse for work. It includes a battery so readily available to use na talaga siya. Connection is through the small USB dongle that goes with the mouse. Tapos yun yung isasaksak mo sa laptop or sa desktop mo. Next are invisible wall shelf supports that I bought for 743 pesos. These are the shelf supports that will be used sa mga DIY projects for um, the, my condo. First project that would use this is the floating TV rack with matching floating um, shelf on top. And then it will also be used for three floating shelves sa CR naman. Inaabot din ako ng 700 plus for 6 pairs nito. So hopefully worth it naman yung result. hot chocolate pods uh, that my wife bought for 563 pesos so this is another flavor of hot chocolate that my wife drinks now um, this one is the Mars chocolate flavor just like the chocolate bar um, according to my wife though yung mga nabili niyang hot chocolate thus far is magkakalasa lang daw halos lahat this next one are the uh, wood style adhesive wall decors that I bought for 938 pesos. Now these are wallpaper stickers na wood style ang print niya. Gagamitin ko to dun sa mga DIY projects that I mentioned earlier for uh, my condo. Uh, it is used to uh, mimic yung itsura ng real wood sa mga furnitures para magmukha talaga siyang kahoy um, even with its grains pero in reality plywood lang talaga yon tapos dalagyan mo lang nitong stickers na to 
these designs are actually hit or miss. Yung iba, yung iba ko na order dati is uh, mukhang cheap yung wood design. Pero these ones, mga napagpilian ko na to and medyo maganda itong mga to. Ito yung gagamitin ko talaga sa projects. This next one is the Choco Chino capsules that my wife bought for 407 pesos. This has two types of pods. One is chocolate, the other is milk. So paghaluin siya. Again, this is another flavor that my wife wanted to try and so far nagustuhan niya to actually. Next are Velcro cable straps that I bought for 46 pesos. These straps will be used for cable management. Next is the eSagger 48 watt fast charger that I bought for 429 pesos. I bought this charger for my laptop and phone. Plano ko is this will be the fixed charger that I will use when I'm on my desk para hindi na ako magtatanggal-tanggal pa sa sasakan when I'm on the go. I chose this charger kasi meron siyang international plugs. So if in case I, we do travel in the near future, pwede ko tong gamitin. Next are camera lens protector and USB 3A quick charger which I bought for 207 pesos. The lens protector is for my iPhone 13 mini that I just recently bought. This is actually the second lens protector I bought from this store. Kasi yung una kong in order pang iPhone 13 Pro yung dumating. Shopee refunded it naman and hindi na nila pinasahuli yung item. So all is good. Next are the Tiny Buds Changing Spray that we bought for 237 pesos. This changing spray is for my son. Ginagamit to pang lini sa kanya kapag pinapalitan yung diaper niya. The next item is the Omni Universal Outlet Extension Cord that I bought for 371 pesos. I bought this extension cord for the DIY cabinet na ilalagay sa kitchen ng condo ko. This will be used for the microwave, rice cooker, oven toaster, coffee maker, and electric kettle. And lastly, we have the Joy Baby dishwashing liquid that we bought for 313 pesos. This dishwashing liquid is specifically used for baby items. So we bought this for our son, um, for his stuff like his feeding bottles, plates, um, and yung mga lagay niya ng pagkain. That's it guys. The total amount paid for the whole shopping haul is 11,449 pesos. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss my next uploads.